At 12 years old, I started bleeding with the moon and beating up boys who dream. I love that somebody hollered, yes. At 12 years old, I started bleeding with the moon and beating up boys who dreamed of becoming astronauts. I fought with my knuckles white as stars and left bruises the shape of Salem. There were things we know by heart and things we don't. At 13, my friend Jen tried to teach me how to blow rings of smoke. I'd watch the nicotine rising from her lips like halos, but I could never make dying beautiful. The sky didn't fill with colors. The night I convinced myself veins are kite strings you can only cut free. I suppose I love this life. In spite of my clenched fist, I open my palm and my lifelines look like branches from an aspen tree and there were songbirds perched on the tips of my fingers and I wonder if Beethoven held his breath the first time his fingers touched the keys the same way a soldier holds his breath the first time his finger clicks the trigger. We all have different reasons for forgetting to breathe. But my lungs remember the day my mother took my hand and placed it on her belly and told me the symphony beneath was my baby sister's heartbeat and I knew life would tremble like the first tear on a prison guard's hardened cheek, like a prayer on a dying man's lips, like a vet holding a full bottle of whiskey, like an empty gun in a war zone. Just take me, just take me. Sometimes the scales themselves weigh far too much. The heaviness of forever balancing blue sky with red blood. We were all born on days when too many people died in terrible ways. But you still have to call it a birthday, y'all. You still have to fall for the prettiest girl on the playground at recess and hope she knows you can hit a baseball further than any boy in the whole third grade. And I've been running for home to the windpipe of a man who sang while his hands played washboard with a spoon on a street corner in New Orleans when every boarded up window was still painted with the words, we're coming back, like a promise to the ocean that we would always keep moving towards the music, the way Basquiat slept in a cardboard box to be clear closer to the rain. Beauty, catch me on your tongue. Thunder clap us open. The pupils in our eyes were not born to hide beneath their desks. Tonight, lay me down to rest in the Arizona desert and wake me to wash the feet of pregnant women who climbed across the border with their bellies aimed towards the sun. I know a thousand things louder than a soldier's gun. I know the heartbeat of his mother. Don't cover your ears, love. Don't cover your ears, life. There is a boy writing poems in Central Park, and as he writes, he moves, and his bones become the bars of Mandela's jail cells stretching apart. And there were men playing chess in the December cold who can't tell if the breath rising from the board is their opponents or their own. And there's a woman on the stairwell of the subway swearing she can hear Niagara Falls from a rooftop in Brooklyn. And I'm remembering remembering how Niagara Falls is a city overrun with vendors and traffic and strip malls in one incredibly brave river that makes it all worth it. Y'all, I know this world is far from perfect. I am not the type to mistake a street light for the moon. I know our wounds are deep as the Atlantic, but every ocean has a shoreline and every shoreline has a tide that is constantly returning to wake the songbirds in our hands, to wake the music in our bones to place one fearless kiss on the mouth of that brave river that has to run through the center of our hearts to find its way home. Thank you all so much for being home tonight. I'll see you in a bit. Take care.